good morning good evening good afternoon good night when you are watching the video welcome to this channel and so in if you are interested in boosting your game fps on intel hd from this to this fps then watch this video till end and subscribe for more videos like this so there will be three things on which i will be focusing first thing uh, will be on graphic driver second thing is uh, undervolting of cpu and third is power limit throttling removing which is specifically for the laptop people so as going on i will be explaining what these thing will do beforehand so the first setting which go we are going discussing is a driver setting or graphic card driver setting which is going to increase your fps most out of all these setting and it is also possible that you may not need to do other two settings so first thing is driver setting so on updating the driver what actually happen is that the driver support or a game support for particular driver version is available on website or is given by the manufacturer so by updating the driver what actually we are doing is that driver actually allow us to play our games better to run it more smoothly as they are more optimized for the newer game setting so there are three things you have to do for updating your driver first thing is you can go to your device manager and in this select your display adapter right click click on properties driver and note your driver version because if in case your driver update didn't work because it actually sometimes decrease the game fps so it will better to roll back to your previous driver so you can either roll back to your previous driver version by clicking on roll back to driver or just note your driver version beforehand and on your google search your laptop model or motherboard model and search for a driver like i have my laptop is hp probook 440 g3 drivers so you can just download your driver version from hp website also just note down the version or you can just search directly your driver version like my driver version is 27.8.86 on searching this driver version i will directly get directly to intel hd website so just note down your driver version now click on properties update driver then search automatically for the update driver so it will actually automatically update the driver provided by your laptop manufacturer or motherboard manufacturer but 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 you can increase your fps more if you have a cpu after the sixth generation and above so what i am saying is that for intel 6 7 8 9 and 10 generation intel is actually providing their own driver with latest update so that was i i have done here so to just check your driver version go to task manager and click on performance cpu now here just see this number after your i3 i5 i7 or i9 i don't know what you see i9 pair, i don't know why you will be playing on intel id so this is showing the intel version for cpu so mine is sixth generation if you have seven here you have seven generation cpu if it's eight then you have eight generation if nine here then nine this word first word only is what i'm talking about so what you have to do is just there's a link in description for intel hd gra graphic driver so there's a version for intel hd graphic click on this intel hd graphic for windows dhc driver and download the latest driver version just check the date here by using as the dot exe file after downloading just install it restart it and it will increase your performance see here you can see also they have improved the shutter in overwatch for on 7 generation intel processor and higher mine is 6 so it doesn't affect me but if you have a 7 generation processor or higher than in overwatch you will have better performance so the reason for explaining me this thing is and this can be a major reason for increasing your fps so just update your intel hd driver to latest settings for more detail if you want you can just read it here noting by this thing so you can just read it it explain what actually this driver does to your old driver so i am going to the second part which is our undervolting of cpu so what is cpu undervolting so in simplest term what is does it intel cpu has a maximum temperature limit of 95 degrees celsius so what happened after 95 degrees celsius they start to thermal throttling meaning that the cpu clock speed the cpu speed 
here will start dropping because of thermal throttling to cool down the cpu temperature what it actually automatically reduces speed cool it down so what actually under volting does it uh, reduces the voltage going to the cpu and reduces the temperature it increases the voltage of power going to cpu and reduces the temperature without affecting the performance so for under volting I will be only using Intel Extreme software. Its link will be in the description to download it. Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. So after downloading, installing, and rebooting your PC, it will ask for reboot. Just go on course. I agree. And here you can see I have voltage offset of minus 50 millivolts. Listen here, what we are doing is we are changing only in uh, millivolts for different CPU. The setting for undervolting will be different. For my CPU, the maximum undervolting was possible till minus 80 millivolts, uh, but it was crashing after removing from charging. So the safe undervolting is minus 60, but I don't need that much of undervolting, so I have reduced it to minus 50 millivolts. You can also in uh, decrease your graphic card this is the graphic card setting voltage offset till uh, minus 30 millivolt for my particular but i have not done here because my temperature was not rising as till 95 so there was no reason of decreasing the core voltage for graphic card one thing is this for more details i will put a dedicated video about uh, cpu undervolting in the i card above at the top so before doing undervolting just check your cpu model search it on google and the first link you can see you can check here the guy has done the undervolting to increase the performance and undervolting doesn't only increase your laptop performance it actually increases your laptop battery also so whether you are going to play game or just surfing just to the undervolting it will improve your laptop performance and temperature now the last thing which is most important in cases of laptop in maximum number of cases is power limit throttling what is power limit throttling this is power limit throttling it's same like thermal throttling but what actually is does it it doesn't allow maximum power to go to cpu when it is in high load specifically in games when we are using high cpu performance as we don't have a dedicated gpu so so power limit throttling actually do the same thing reduce the cpu speed core frequency speed so how i removed it is like this for my cpu you can just go to task manager check your cpu model and just type that cpu model on google then go to in arcintel.com website and here you can see that the configuration tdp for my cpu is 25 watts it the maximum power the cpu can handle so in intel extreme what i have done is i have increased this turbo boost power max by default it was on 15 watt so while playing power limit throttling was continuously happening with me so after under volting it and increasing it to 22 watt i have removed my power limit throttling but notice one thing don't increase power limit uh, to maximum that is for my case 25 watt because your cpu temperature will start rise above 95 degree and thermal throttling will start so if you are doing power limit throttling which may be not required by you i mean there is also possibility then in thermal throttling just do under volting and that will be fine if you are going to play very heavy games like fortnite i play fortnite and this so in fortnite is the only game which i notice my power limit throttling thing for that purpose first you have to decrease your cpu temperature by using under volting then to removing thermal limit rod okay the so first thing is driver second thing is cpu under volting third thing is removing your power limit throttling so these three things will increase your performance it will not make it very fast but what actually it will does is by removing this uh, thermal limit throttling and power limit throttling the fps drop which you get will reduce so that's all for the video like it if you like it and please subscribe because in future i will be posting a video regarding a very cheap gaming monitor so thank you for watching bye